Whoa. Seven on the turn. That is the miracle card for Kristen to get a lot of money from Ben. 45. This has been raised by Caldo. And you steam like me too. Yeah. <laughs> and re-raised now by Kristen Bicknell. She has ace nine of diamonds. That may or not be true. I like this three bet from Kristen. She's got a strong hand, she's in position, and she knows Caldo is raising way too many hands. I don't believe she's steaming. Good call from Randall, too, and Caldo uh, pretty loose with the over call, but he is suited, so here we go. Flop is a jack-jack, ace, two hearts. Kristen hits aces. Caldo, of course, with the four flush. Nice check from Kristen there. Randy checks behind, looking for a 10. Four on the turn. I like that check from Caldo. I don't think you get better hands to fold when you bluff, and there's always the possibility that you make your flush and run into a full house on a paired board. I think with a smaller flush draw, he could bet, but the king high one makes a good check. Well, she's gonna come out and bet. She's a Canadian tough player. Caldo from South Florida, WPT champion, three times at a final table on the World Poker Tour. He's gonna check raise it. Uh, I don't know about this. He's trying to say I have a jack. I don't believe you have an ace, maybe. Try to muscle her out, but we know better. She has an ace and a pretty good kicker. Yeah, it's quite a small raise. I think if you're going to check raise bluff your hand, you either don't want to do it on a paired board or you want to do it when you have way more outs, uh, like maybe a straight draw to go with your flush draw. And he's also gone so small that Kristen is going to continue with all her aces here, which she would definitely play like this a lot. She's made this call. Will Caldo catch his flush here? No, it's a deuce. And he's gonna give up with a check. You check? Check, check. check. A pair of deuces. Wow. Caldo is just not running good here tonight. Good in. Another nice hand from Kristen Bicknell. She's mostly thought of as a tournament poker player, but really showing that she belongs at any poker table tonight. She's a stone cold killer. All those punchy here. Good I had call. Two, I had two of your hearts. I really wasn't playing for that. <laughs> I didn't think it really mattered what I had. You, you haven't got out of line once. She gave you no respect there. <laughs> needed to follow through. The river bet would have got it, I think. Right. Though she had quads, I'm going to follow through anymore. She, that call. she makes that call. Call. I get it. Can I get it? Straddled by Caldo. Kristen out. Randall's gonna call it for four five. Oh boy. I think Randy sometimes just gets bored and plays a random hand. All right, so Brandon's gonna raise it. Caldo makes this call. There will be no more folded. Randall makes a quick call. We are three ways and get a king three deuce flop. So actually quite a good board for the five four of Randall Emmett. Everyone else has whiffed this one. They check and now look at this, an ace. So that gives Randall Emmett a straight. Well, Randall's in a hand too. Yeah. That's why you play junk sometimes. That is the gin card. Nice check, Randy. 27. Give Brandon a chance to either bet an ace for value or bet something like this as a bluff. You mean the race? And again, very, very quick action from Randall, betraying a little bit about the strength of his hand. Okay. You've pointed that out before, Vince, that Randy acts very quick when he knows what he's going to do. You're winning now. Oh, he's on fire. He's up 80,000 right now. You're not really losing. <laughs> At one point, you were losing. Now you're not really losing. Now, Randall Emmett is a Hollywood producer. He has produced films like Gotti and Lone Survivor. Mm -hmm. And he's also an avid poker player. But he's stuck a little bit tonight. Oh, I can fold this easily. Easily. Really? Ben Lamb juicing up this pot with 7-5 offsuit. Seems optimistic as he raises it up to 2,500 there in a game where people hate folding. But uh, hey, you got the button, right? Caldo with a suited connector makes this call. It's starting to look like a party. 
and everybody else is suited in this hand and going to come along. I'm not, Jack and I are not in the hand. Shocking. Four ways to the flop, three of them suited. Ben Lamb, the only one with an offsuit hand, finds middle pair, but Kristen, top two. Top two pair, tens and sevens for Kristen. She's gonna lead out here. I like this bet, Vince. I think that's a board that Ben would probably check back at a decent frequency. And as we've established, everyone here hates folding. So Ben makes the call with middle pair. The other two players get out of the way. Whoa, seven on the turn. That is the miracle card for Kristen to get a lot of money from Ben. I'm sure a tune's going off in her head. You got the sevens full. You're hoping this guy has a 10 something. Mm -hmm. And here's the bet of 75. You don't want to shake him loose. She gets the call. Wow. Ben Lamb is so screwed here. He has sevens full of deuces and. Well, she's betting 14,000. There you go. She gets as much as she could, perhaps. Ooh, wow. wow. Check, check. Yeah, I check, know. you get it. There's no cold flop. Plenty of the AM. Max punish. How, how am I supposed to think he has a seven? Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT26 and get a free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Down to the felt, look at this. Brandon with ace, queen of diamonds will raise to 14. Behind him, Ben Land with an ace, nine of spades. That was cute, we touched. He's getting that raising chips as well. Yeah, he goes back over the top, 42 total. Ben has a strong hand against the player who opens too much, and you see that by three betting there, he pushes out strong hands like king 10 suited in pocket eights. I call. Nice pot brewing, ace, queen versus ace, nine. We're gonna have to count this. Not too often do I mess the pot up. Not one time is a thousand bucks. That's all right. How good is your hand right now? One to ten. Okay, I'm scared of you. Check. I check. Ben is so good at all the little factors that make someone a strong live player. Like he asks Brandon, how good is your hand right now? And the rapport they have often means that Brandon will give him some real insight. Check. Well, he checked the flop, even though he hit nine. Now a four flush appears for Brandon. That is a nice check by Brandon on the turn. I know his hand looks really strong, but if he bets, he doesn't actually get any better hands to fold. And I think that when Ben checks back the flop, it's with showdown value. 5,000 was bet and called seven on the river. Irrelevant, so. I think Ben should try and go for some value here. If Brandon had a jack, he would typically bet the turn. He can have a few sevens, but not that many. And if he's got a nine, you've got the better one. So this is a nice bet from Ben here, trying to squeeze a little more money out of his opponent who has shown a tendency to call too much on the river. Okay. Doesn't get paid this time, but yeah, really like the way that Ben Lamb played that hand. And honestly, I like the way that Brandon played his hand too. A lot of players bet that turn. I was uh, I'll just tell you exactly what I had. I never told the truth. I had the ace nine space. Is there not? There's not a bad. That is Queen of Diamonds. Oh, you turned diamonds? Yeah. You swapped the jack. Swapped the nine. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is there not? Yeah. No, jack, seven, nine, jack nine seven. Turn five, river seven. Both telling the truth. Yeah. So like I said, you know, Ben creates this pretty friendly rapport with a lot of these guys, but then he asks them questions during the hand that will give him some real insight into their strength. Here we go, Calderaro. Can he get lucky with something? He is gonna race to 1,400. Oh, I want a Brando by myself. I was folding, actually. If he, <laughs> I swear I was folding. It's that bad. It's that bad. These three guys love splashing around against each other. Flop is a 10, 8, 6. Check. Bottom pair for Randall, nothing for Brandon. Open ender with a backdoor flush draw. For Caldo, he's gonna bet 2100. Insta call by Randall. Brandon out of the way. So heads up to the turn. It's a king of diamonds. They go check, check. Another king on the river. 
I, w I don't know about bluffing this river. It just sucks to be bluffing in a spot where all the pairs call and your opponent hates folding. I can't bluff you guys. So Randy makes a quick call on the river with his sixes and kings and takes that one from James Calderaro, who thus far is having a pretty bad run of things tonight. So the Hollywood producer, Randall Emmett, looking good, making a good call. You guys ever fold? Folding's not fun. Folding sucks. It does. It costs you money. You're not gonna push around Randall Emmett. That's the other problem. He hates folding, so maybe he just calls you with queen high to spite you, and it's like, ugh, what was I thinking? We have a raise by Kristen, who has a 10-7. I'm not gonna miss this, this is gonna be a good one. I can tell. I know these things. It feels like a big one. It's gonna be a good one. And we got a bunch of calls. All right, this is good action at this table, and the flop is a king, jack, five, two diamonds. Jackie hitting kings. The scary board. Everyone checks. Brandon, the only one with the diamond, holding the ace of diamonds. All right, this pot has been checked all around, and Jackie Wang not touching it with top pair. So peculiar. Six on the river. If this is the first hand I haven't liked from Jackie. I think he needs to bet either the flop or turn and get some protection and value from his top pair in this five-way pot. Well, he's finally gonna bet it, it looks like. Yep, he's putting in 2,400. He's not used to having top pair. He has bluffs, that's about it. Randy is gonna call with his jack. That should be the end of things. Ben Lamb is eyeing this, and tell you what, Vince, Ben Lamb is a sharp guy who realizes that after this many checks, both of his opponent's ranges are capped, by which I mean the strength of their hand can only be so good. So despite him not having a relevant blocker like a diamond or a seven, he's gonna check raise bluff here using just his live reads and understanding of his opponent's tendencies, and I think this is gonna work. Awesome play. Good bluff. Caldo finally with a quality pair of kings. He's got him. And he'll raise it 1400. Dan here with a suited connector makes his call. And Jackie with ace three also going to stick around. Shouldn't fair. I'm out of position. They have better hands than me. What you're used to. Better shirts. Flop is a 10 9 4. So. Good flop there for Caldo. But we got an open ended for Ben. Caldo fires 3,100 here with his kings, hoping they can hold up. Ben Lamb has an open ender, makes the call. All right. What did you say, you quit? All right, I call. Caldo is quite short, so I don't think he would fold anything with showdown value or that's a strong draw. Ace of Hearts is not the card Caldo wanted to see here. It's pretty much the worst card in the deck for him. They go check, check, and a five on the river doesn't get Ben Lamb there. Oh yeah, he's gonna take a shot, 8,500. And I like that Ben is bluffing here. What do you think? My king shrunk up. Do you have a heart with it? No, that's why it sucks. You called me? Good call, good call, good Take call. Good, good call. call, he's read his man. Ben's out of line these days, I know. Oh yeah. You got him. As soon as he told me he had kings, I knew I lost. <laughs> and caught in the cookie jar this time. Now that's a call. New player, seat six. <laughs> so he's stuck about 74. Yeah, starting to get a little back. All right, I'm off tilt. <laughs> when were you on tilt? You don't think I was on tilt? When? when you call this bluff. From the moment you told me you had kings <laughs> to the moment he called my river bet, I was on tilt. Now with Randy. He is gonna make a call with a four nine of hearts. Oh boy. You know, I have talked some poker and strategy with Randall Emmett. 
and I said, look, there are very few nevers and always in poker, but just never limp. It's a very simple way to improve your game. Never, ever limp. And he has not listened. So, Randy limps in with a 9-4 suited, calls a raise. Now go to a flop heads up against his nemesis, Brandon Steven. And neither player connects on queen-8-7. So check, check. Going to the turn, but it's a heart. Now, Randall with a four flush here, and Brandon hitting aces. So Brandon is going to bet. It's 2,400. Randall's going to call it. And the heart comes up on the river. Randall has hit the flush. A nice check from Randy. I do think that Brandon needs to bet his hand here, even though that's not an ideal river. And he is 3,700. Raise. And Randall quickly with the raise, total of nine. Let's see if he gets the action. So I can only beat a bluff. I hate when I say that. <laughs> Having a nine for Brandon sucks here. You block some of the likely bluffs, nine, 10, jack 10, whatever. He is gonna be curious, pays that off. Beautifully yeah. done by Randall Emmett. Not really sure about that call. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT26 and get a free entry into a $100,000 guaranteed tournament. Caldo, 1400. Chris and Bicknell right behind him on the button, goes to 4500. Damn, she keeps popping me. She has been very aggressive about isolating Caldo in these pots. I think that King 3 suited might be a little much. Can you win everyone? I don't know, so. Look again, make sure. Take a peek again. <laughs> Here we go. Flop is a king six deuce, so Kristen hits kings. Nice flop for her. I think she's gonna check here. She's very protected, but yep, can't get a lot of worse hands to call. So she checks back at Ace of Diamonds, a very interesting turn card. One that Caldo is likely to bluff. You see him reaching for chips. Kristen with second pair and a flush draw, but has to be concerned that her opponent has top pair. Have Ace nine. Ace nine's in trouble, I call. But she's gonna call this. I don't have Ace nine. Good. <laughs> just a measly four, but there's three spades out there. He's gonna shoot. He's a 10,000 bet with a bluff. Yeah, that's a reasonable card for Caldo to bluff here. Yeah, I don't think Kristen has that many spade combinations after checking back on the flop. He can rep the ace here. You got better than ace nine? She can have pairs like, you know, tens, jacks, that are gonna have to fold to this. I didn't hear, did you say anything? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Might talk her into this fold. It's a very borderline spot for Kristen here. Very tough call to make. Oh, how do I break this river? Right. Oh, she's gonna lay it down. Show the bluff. And he does. Wow. Takes out the salt shaker, puts it in the wound. I had a feeling, honestly. Why don't I trust my read? Kristen out. Call by Randall. Good fold. Good fold, Ben. Oh, fine. Good fold, fine. Ben. Thank God the two you're out for five seconds. And now Jackie with ace deuce just calling. Caldo happy to see the flop. Flop is a queen, eight, seven. That's queens and eights for James Calderaro. Pair it up, pair it up. The old check and he does pair it up, gives him a full house. That's all we asked for. All right, he's gonna bet a thousand with that monster. One's action, can he get it? Randall's call for threes. And on the river. Whoa, come on, Caldo. <laughs> check raise, and there you go. I think I got a chance. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, no. All, right, all right, give it to him. Give him the bar. Just give him the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, just that, huh? Nice playing, Trappy Trappy. <laughs> I can't believe you checked an eight behind, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could never, I got this chip here. This is, I got this this is a Brandle chip. <laughs> You're just like in so trouble now. Yeah, Randy was just hoping his threes and eights would be good, that maybe he caught Caldo bluffing with an ace high or a misdraw, something like that. Randall this time gets out of the way. Brandon folding now. Ben Lamb has raised to 1,200 with an ace nine. Mm, Caldo's got the king. Oh, and, yeah. And with his image, he'll get action. 
And just a call. Okay, he's gonna disguise the strength of his hand with just a call with the kings and hope an ace doesn't appear. But of course an ace appears. Ace always gets there. That's why I always play with aces. It's a, it's a good strategy. You can always raise with a flop and always get an ace. He's <laughs> like, hey, just in case it wasn't clear, I have a pair that's angry about seeing an ace. Another ace. Oh, that's all he needs is one. Now he has two. Ben is sticking in 6,000. Oh, come on. You gotta have me by now. Flushing? Ace. Flush draw. Ace. Check it. The backdoor flush draw gets there with trips. I think that Ben still needs to value bet here somewhere around half pot. What do you think I should do? 9,000. Yeah, that sounds good. And he's telling the truth. He'll call 9,000. It's fair for everybody. No chance he bets nine. No chance. No chance? No chance. That's collusion, sir. Can he do that? <laughs> I was thinking about betting nine, but now I can't. My brain will think less of me if I do. Well, he knows he has his man on the ropes here. And now it's just how much can you extract from Keldo? That's fair, actually. <laughs> oh, it's 11. 11,000. King shrunk up again. Take the money. <laughs> so bad. You have kings again? Yeah. It's crazy. You have the king of hearts? I gotta have the king of hearts. You have the king of hearts, you just move in. No, I don't. I call. Oh, boy. <laughs> I call for, I snap call.